you're getting billed by the hour and it gets expensive and people need to realize that the more acrimonious it is the, the smaller the things that they're willing to, that the parties are willing to fight for uh, the more they get to bill attorneys get paid by the hour the more accusations they make towards the other side the more things they ask you to send them the more papers they file with the courthouse the more they earn and the more it costs you one party files something you have to respond if you don't respond you either lose by default or if it's a contempt petition you land yourself in jail you're a lawyer you write a nasty letter her lawyer has to write a nasty letter it's just a great system essentially paper the other side until they can't take it anymore it's just paperwork after paperwork after paperwork after paperwork and there are no limits when attorneys get started they have no incentive to stop until you run out of money you have lawyers who are in it for the money who are greedy who will milk a case if your case is taking years and years then that means some attorneys just putting in a lot of frivolous motions to delay the case in the 60s it take a few months a year now cases drag on five six seven eight years which is extremely expensive as you can imagine the attorneys definitely don't want to settle the cases because once they do their income stream has been cut off and the lawyers have been granted complete immunity in family court a lawyer can say or do anything no matter how false or cruel and waste tens of thousands of dollars intentionally and maliciously and they cannot be sued for malicious prosecution or excessive litigation I'm not aware of any case where a lawyer was sued for being overly zealous did you ever hold an attorney in contempt no I really didn't have the heart to do that I would see them privately maybe when we had lunch afterwards no because he's doing his job and you just and however uh, uh, pitiful his case was uh, I'm, I'm reluctant to embarrass attorneys with such high rates and no consequences for over litigating the money in the marriage is often spent before the divorce is even finished so how do people pay for all this when the liquid cash went out at that point there he says well I understand you have a hundred thousand dollar line of credit which I had to go ahead and use that in order to pay uh, for my legal defense a lot of people go into debt as a result of their divorces some attorneys automatically put a lien on your house just to make sure that eventually they get paid we took out an equity line of credit at my parents house and that's been maxed out now uh, I think it's two hundred fifty thousand dollars what they do is bleed you until all the money is gone and if that isn't enough the court can even order you to sell everything you own the judge looks through here and he says to me you really messed this up next time I see you in my court I'm going to order your land sold so you can get attorneys your home your your valuables are all gonna be sold to pay the lawyers and people like me the court does regularly liquidate an asset sell the house to pay that person to do their job so the court system has become the marketeer and the under threat of a court order of contempt have ordered you to comply with it and then has ordered you to pay it and 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 will then collect it for them as their collection agency the legal system like many of the other systems in our country turns around money and money makes a big difference on everything it's not what we think of in America but it's the reality of America you didn't have family law firms in the old days because the people who ran the big firms weren't interested in doing family law there was no money in it once houses started to go up in value and more money came into the family law system some of those big firms did get interested in family law the cases became much bigger so a divorce became a business type trial it's not surprising that the average contested divorce in the US costs fifty thousand dollars in the last 40 years the number of divorce lawyers has exploded increasing over 2,000 percent in California alone and this is a nationwide issue no matter what state you live in you're going to get pulled in we're all part of this machine that makes divorce a business it is a business and I'm not ashamed to say that this is how I feed my family this is how I keep a roof over my head 
This is how I put gas in my Rolls Royce.